Hi all, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about schwa. What is schwa? Schwa is the most common vowel sound. Every vowel can make this sound. It occurs in unaccented syllables. It can also come in open syllable position. The sound is a short, relaxed, a uh, sound a uh. in some cases it may also sound a eh. if you want me to explain all these points to you so be with me till the end of the video and if you are watching this video on facebook or instagram so please go to my youtube channel home schooling with hera and learn more about schwa so let's dive a bit deeper to understand schwa sound you need to understand the syllable stress because schwa sound is the sound of vowels that they make in an unstressed syllable or unaccented syllable. Right, so first of all, what is a syllable? A syllable is the short rhythmical beat or the smallest possible part of a word. For example, the word eat. In this word, we have only one syllable. How did we decide it? Because in this word, we have only one vowel sound, eat. We don't have any concern with the number of vowels. We have to look for the vowel sound. If you have only one vowel sound, no matter it is written with two vowels or three vowels, it means it is a single syllable word. So in the word eat, we have only one syllable and it is the stressed syllable. If we have only one syllable, it must be the stressed syllable, right? Another example is pond. Again, we have a single vowel here. So this is a single syllable word and the syllable is stressed. Now we have a diphthong, ow, round. Again, because this is a vowel sound and we do not have any other vowel sound in this word. So it's a single syllable word and single syllable word means that it is the only stressed syllable. So in these types of words where we don't have uh, two syllables, schwa does not exist. However, in words like open, about, event, we have two syllables. Now listen to the word carefully and tell me where do you hear the stress or which vowel sound do you hear clearly? Open, open. Which one do you hear clearly? Yes, this is the first one. O. Oh. And in pen, I'm not saying pen. I'm not saying this vowel sound clearly. I'm saying the first one clearly. It means that this is the stress syllable. Here the vowel is saying its complete sound. And here it is saying the schwa sound. Okay, so the word is open. The other word is about. Again, a disyllabic word about what do you think is a is saying it's longer short sound the long sound is a and the short sound is a but here a is saying a sound about bowed here this vowel is saying its sound clearly so this part of the word is stressed the second syllable is stressed and open the first syllable was stressed and about the second syllable is stressed so the first syllable is saying the schwa sound because vowels say schwa sound in unstressed syllables, right? Then we have the word event. Do you hear this vowel clearly or this one? Event or event? Vent. Vent. Here eh is saying its right sound, but here it's saying the schwa sound. It's event. A sound is coming here so again it's a disyllabic word and the first syllable is unaccented unstressed that's why we have the schwa sound here but remember when you are dictating these kind of words to your children or to your students you should not say these words with their schwa sound say as you spell them right for example if the word is event say it Event. If the word is open, say it open. 
right if the word is destroy so say it destroy don't say it destroy because here this is the accented part of the word troy this is clear but this part is having the shua sound we are saying destroy however we write it differently we write it destroy right so you need to help children while writing these spellings because we do not have any rule in writing for these words let's see some trisyllabic words the word is chocolate chocolate in this word this vowel is almost swallowed it is just finished we say it chocolate we don't even bother to say a short a uh sound here okay but when you write it you need to write o and this is the schwa sound again chocolate the stress in this word is on the first syllable again the next word is critical critical so here is the first syllable cri then t -cal, critical again you can hear the stress on the first syllable and the other vowel sounds are schwa then we have this word syllable syllable in this the stress is again here syllable syllable so the other vowel is schwa and in this syllable we do not have any sound of vowel okay this is consonant plus le we write a silent final e with this syllable to make the spelling correct otherwise this syllable does not have any vowel sound right now i'm going to share with you some examples with the schwa sound and you can see that how different vowel sounds are giving schwa sound at different places so come on let's have a quick look so here are some words with schwa sound but remember these are just 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 a few examples because if the word is multisyllabic it means that if it has more than one syllable schwa sound is must in the word it means that if you have two vowel sounds in a word, one of them must be unaccented. One of them must be a shua sound, right? So come on, let's see these words. Pasta, a uh, sound is here. Panda, again, a uh, sound is here. Certain, we write it with the long A sound, certain, but we say it certain. The other word is mount. Again, we write mountain, but we read it as mountain. This word is tomato or tomato. Both pronunciations are right. Tomato is British and tomato is American, right? So the first syllable has the schwa sound. In this word, we have only one schwa and two vowel sounds. So this may also happen, but most of the time we have only one accented syllable, so only one vowel sound the next word is hexagon here we have two schwas a uh, and gun hexagon record this vowel is schwa here doctor doctor a uh, sound is here and if you say this word in british pronunciation so it will be doctor our sound will not be here it will be doctor then we have lamb an lemon o is saying the schwa sound method math ad method maximum here u is saying the schwa sound maximum minus minus family i is saying the schwa sound family grammar if you follow british pronunciation so a r e r o r I R, they all say the schwa sound because R gets silent after the vowel in British English unless it is followed by a word that is starting with a vowel again. So if you want to learn this rule, if you want to learn how to pronounce R controlled vowels in British English, I will share the link in the description box. You can have a look there. So for the British English, this word is grammar with a sound at the end. And for American English, the word is grammar with a uh and er uh, grammar the next word is blender or blender orchard or orchard balloon b a loon balloon 
problem. Eh is saying the a uh sound. Problem. Inconsistent. Here O and E are saying the schwa sound. Inconsistent. The next word is editor. Editor. And the last one is sugar. In British English, sugar. And in American English, sugar. So that's all for shua sound. If you want to teach shua to kids, you need to tell them the right spelling. Say the word as it is spells and then tell the pronunciation. Like we write the word lamb on, but how do we say it? Lemon. So when you are dictating the word, say the word properly as, if, as you write it. Like mountain and then tell the correct pronunciation mountain. So that's all for today's video. Hope you have got something useful from it. If yes, so please hit the like button. If haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.